I don't know about you, but I cannot wake up in the morning. I have really good intentions, but so often I'm lying in bed and I realize it's midday. I haven't had breakfast, I haven't taken my morning meds, nothing is happening. My goal has been to wake up and get up at 7 a.m. every day over the last week. I've tried waking up earlier in the past. It goes in these little bursts where I'm like really pumped and like, yes, I can do this. And then I slowly trail off and stop trying. It's well documented that I just can't wake up in the mornings. I have like five or six alarms that are puzzle alarms. I wake up, do them, instantly fall back asleep. It's the type of person I've always been and since I've had ME, it's gotten a lot worse. Uh. I don't really want to because I know I hate getting up in the morning, but I know I feel a lot better over the course of the day if I do get up in the morning. Usually I have an alarm at 7, 7.15, 7.30, and then I sleep until 11. So this time I have increased the, what I'm gonna call strength of the alarms. I now have four different activities or tasks to do before the alarm turns off. So the alarms include a puzzle alarm, which I previously have been using, but I've also added a maths alarm, an alarm that requires the whole device to be shaken to turn it off, and finally a barcode reading alarm. So the first three are to wake me up, and the fourth one is to make me physically get out of bed, go to the kitchen. And you know what? The first day it worked. So I did it. I don't know what to do now. Do I just do like normal day stuff? Do I have breakfast? The pipes are making a weird noise. I don't feel great. I woke up, and not immediately, but pretty quick. Got out of bed. I never do that. I guess I have breakfast. It's Monday, so I need to do my boxes. And on day two, it worked again. I thought I'd discovered the four alarm perfect system. Unfortunately, day three didn't go as well. The four alarm system failed me. I wielded my free will and decided to turn the last alarm off, which meant I didn't have to get up, I didn't have to walk to the kitchen, I didn't have to scan the Marmite. And that led to me lying in bed for an extra hour. I had lost an hour of my day because I didn't feel like getting up. This is one of the places I always fall down when I'm trying to wake up early in the morning. I don't have school or work to physically be at, so if I just decide not to, I can. And then day four happened and I went back to being successful. I got up on time, efficiently, had breakfast, ready to start my day. And that was great. Maybe day three was just a fluke. Or so I thought, until day five, which was quite the failure. And this failure wasn't just like the last one. I didn't spend an extra hour in bed. I spent an extra four hours in bed. I didn't need to catch up on any sleep. I wasn't even sleeping. I was awake, I just didn't get up. And it doesn't really matter whether you get up early in the morning or you don't. It's completely personal preference, but I know for me, my mental health is significantly better when I get up in the morning and get things done. So when I choose not to, I'm actively choosing a decision I know is gonna make me unhappy in the future, which is so frustrating to me because it's fixable and I just choose not to a lot of the time. In preparation for day six, I changed my alarms. I spread them out over a longer time period because the issue that led to my extra four hours in bed was my alarms. So it's Saturday, so it's been what, six days of waking up or trying to wake up at 7 a.m. And I have some thoughts. Since I've started this, I have been getting up consistently earlier than I usually would. But there is problems. The app is meant for people who struggle to wake up. And the day that that has worked, it's worked really well because I'm awake from doing all these different little tasks. And then I'm awake and stood in the kitchen. So like, I might as well have breakfast. But the problem with it is, if you're kind of too asleep to do one of the activities and it takes you more time than the five minutes you've got until the next alarm, the next one doesn't happen. So if it takes me over 10 minutes to do the maths puzzle, I don't have to do the get up and go scan the alarm in the kitchen, which is a big problem because that's the one that gets me out of bed. The other three are to wake me up, 
That one is the one that physically makes me move out of bed. That one's really important because no matter how awake I am, if I'm lying in bed, I can fall back asleep like that. And I didn't get it this morning. Because I was due sleep, do the first puzzle. I was struggling with the first puzzle, which means the second one didn't happen. And the third one didn't happen and the fourth one didn't happen because I was still trying to work out the puzzle. This is the second time it hasn't happened because I've been too busy trying to work out one of the other puzzles in my like sleepy brain. The days that I've managed to get up early, I've really, really loved. I've really enjoyed getting up early. It's quiet. I feel like I've accomplished something. It's first thing in the morning and I've already done something that I'm proud of. That's a great start to the day, you know? I fell back asleep, wasn't rewoken up by the last two alarms, wasn't made to get out of bed, and I later woke up and thought, well, it's too late now, I might as well not bother getting up or trying because I've already failed. This alarm issue started the issues for the whole of day five, so I had to rectify them for day six. So the changes I made to the alarms were I made them every 10 minutes, so I'd have longer in between, so it would not roll over and cause the next one to be missed. Good morning, it's Monday again. So it's been a whole week of trying to wake up at 7 a.m. and I think I've only missed two. So that's not that's not too bad. I've um, updated my alarms and they work a lot better. We got this. I've also got new pajamas. I managed to get up at 7 a.m. this morning. I got up, had breakfast, you know, had my medication in the morning, not midday. <laughs> and I did a quick tidy of my bedroom like Getting up in the morning makes me feel so productive, like I'm like ready to get stuff done. And it's hard, it is hard to get up, but once I've done it, I feel so much better about myself. It's going, it's going okay. Like obviously I've had those couple, a couple of less than ideal mornings, but other than that, it's good. So far it's work. It's easier to do a new system, to get into a new routine for the first couple of days when you're pumped and you're like ready to go. When you start to get used to it, it becomes less interesting, you're less excited, you're less motivated to do it, and it becomes harder. So my new alarm system hasn't been tested enough yet. I don't know whether it's gonna work out because two days isn't enough to know whether a system is going to work, but I will keep tweaking it until I can make it work. This video has shown me that, yes, waking up at 7 a.m. is something I want to do, those days where I did it successfully, I felt so great, I felt so successful at those days. The best thing for me is the end barcode alarm. And I think because I've chosen to use an item that's in the kitchen, by the time I'm there, I've scanned my item. I might as well have breakfast. I'm already there, why not? I've done the hard work, I've gotten out of bed. Might as well eat something. So the barcode scanning alarm really reduces that getting started problem. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know how you wake up in the mornings and stay tuned for the bloopers. Bye. I've got an hour until I need to go to the supermarket. I don't know.